So, hello everyone, my name is Ryu of Mega Legends 87, and we're up to 24 of season 4, of course, last, second to last episode, final course next week, and, uh, you know, it's all about Endowra, no, it's all about freaking Miracle, Miracle, best muscle girl, mm -mm -mm. Cool, who cares about Endowra, I wanna follow the tan muscular beauty, right? No, but seriously, you, you know, I love me some, you know, fit girls, some tan fit girls, you know, it's like a reason why I bought this thing, right? With, of course, the best anime last year. Dumbbell, uh, you know, how much can you live? Yeah, <laughs> Dumbbell, Dumbbell Kilo Motoru, of course, with uh, Hibiki, of course. Amazing best girl last year. Um, and so on, right? Now. So, of course, everything with Miriko was awesome. She's a sassy, you know, kind of like, I'm gonna fight you! Like, are oh, you weak teaming up weekly? So, so on, right? So, like, great personality. She's, you know, a muscular fighter girl, right? And has a kick ass and so on. Like, perfect woman, in my opinion, right? You know, like, for example, my favorite character, but Chloe's Melona, right? And so on, yeah. So she's like a perfect, hot, badass female fighter, right? Best thing ever, literally. Like, literally the best thing ever, yeah. That's the review, see you guys. <laughs> but anyway, so the Endower bit, uh, clearly it's been Endower, right? Fighting the enemy next week, so we get some kind of redeeming story for, now, um, for Endower now. And I really love this moment. I said it was my favorite moment of the episode. I love this moment with this kid is like, and our doesn't do a fair service. You're not in our world. Like crying blood too. He's even crying blood. This guy is the uh, biggest and our fan ever, and he's so disappointed that and our is the one to be nice to him. So. An issue call for now is that no one really likes him, right? He's, you know, he's very low ranked as Hawks, of course, is the most popular ranked person uh, on popularity. Obviously, you know, Mi Miruko is the most popular in our pants, right? Uh, clearly the most popular. <laughs> she, she's the highest ranked female, though, and but I'm, I'm sure she's the highest ranked female, if you know what I mean. Um, Certainly, certainly, for obvious reasons, right? But and that were, of course, very popular, right? I mean, see Hawks team walking around, they're like, Oh, Hawks, autograph, please! He's like, oh, and that were, let's uh, stay away from him, he's freaking scary, right? And so I really love that moment there, when he actually has a fan, right? Like, one kid likes him, and he's like, and that were, son! <laughs> it's trying to be nice to him, because we know that he's trying to become a civil piece, so he's trying to be, like, all might, right? And the kid is like, I don't like change, change, don't change, my endowment is never nice to people, that's why I like him, and it runs away. I think that was the best scene by far, honestly, ignoring the, the obvious best girl scenes, because that was so funny, when he's like, I wanted to change, I wanted to be this mean bastard that is mean to everyone, and no one likes you, and you're just rough, but you're strong, I wanted to be that guy, I don't want to, you know, change, <laughs> I don't like change. Um, but then, of course, is, as the kid said there, what this story is about, right, primarily, right? We're gonna see in that we're trying to be a hero, so to speak. He's not a hero, but you know, trying to be a nice hero, right? And trying to hit people now. So I actually liked him in that word there, because almost the kid runs away, he's like, hmm, did you do it wrong? How do you handshake? <laughs> yeah, and he's like, he's questioning, he's like, huh. Maybe I should do it like this instead. And that kid in that city liked it. Yeah, he's trying to like figure out how to be, you know, nice and civilized or something like that. So I mean I think that's pretty cute. He's like trying to understand, right, how to be a good guy and so on. So I think it's a like good storytelling there, right? Because obviously he's had some, you know, bad uh, moments before in the past, right? And now he's trying to do good, right? He's trying to be a little more nicer. So him reflecting over how am I nice? How am I not scaring people and so on? I think it's a good moment. Uh, generally, so I like that. And uh, Hawks, of course, Hawks is a really good character. Yeah, it's super annoying. It's like the arrogant, you know, bratty guy. It's like, I'm the best already. I'm number two, but I'm young and I'm hot and I can do this shit. So, yeah, I like this character. He's very non Japanese. He takes the mic and take, let me speak. You know, other people are boring. So, <laughs> yeah, and he completely, you know, takes over right there. So, I mean, that guy is um, obviously very in your face, very different than the other heroes, right? Not that very, how to say, laid back and so on, right? He's super energetic, kind of genki, uh, likes to, you know, mess with all, <laughs> with Endower. I guess he's trying to help Endower in some way. So it's an interesting character, and I think we're going to see more of his, of course, it, it, very unlikely that he's to be Endower factor next week, right? Because this new Nemo, uh, high end, seems to be an intelligent Nemo with uh, actual, like, competent use of his skills and so on. So they're probably going to have like, an actual fight. And I think we see a quick scene in the preview where the feathers of black instead of red. 
might just be like an aesthetic thing though. But I think the black there, so maybe Hawks has some more, you know, decent power strike. One thing with Hawks being low is that when you see him, you think of like uh, Angel, right? For example, right? The X Men, right? Yeah, you guys with wings, right? Yeah, classic X Men character. And classic Angel was pretty weak, though, right? It's a guy with wings, you know, um, you know, more than, yeah, more. It's like, he's got wings. <laughs> it's like he can fly around. You have other people that can fly too, right? With better power. So, so, but, 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 but I will see that his feathers are very, very powerful. Yeah, and he has like an amazing control over them, right? So he's, he has like a very powerful wing. I said wing quirk, right? Where it starts like, okay, he's like fly. But then it's like, no, he can actually shoot on people, he can have an old lady. So those feathers are like super movable, right? Kind of gives him like a seven sakura power or something like that. So yeah, like he can, you know, all the feathers fly around. So so maybe he can do that. I'm just throwing it out there because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a blind, I haven't read the manga. Uh, so I'm throwing it out there, but I, I can imagine him maybe not being like, you know, going full. Um, bleeds Bioki and being like, I can do like a billion feathers, but maybe it can be like, you know, I can send out maybe like a thousand feathers, right? And create a kind of like a feather storm and fight with, you know, the feathers and so on. I can see that happening, yeah. That is what I think he can do. He can probably create, because if you see him sending away a few feathers right this episode, oh, few guys, that guy, lifting up that thing, like a few feathers, yeah. Maybe he can create a few thousand feathers, right? Uh, and then they can fly like a storm and so on. That he can probably do, right? That can be. A cool power to have, but I don't think he can like. I mean, maybe that could maybe he can take it further. Maybe he can like you know explode his wings. I'm just throwing that one. Nothing to happen, but I can see like an extra super last sword frame could be to you know like explode his wings so to speak, right? And create like a huge amount of feathers. But then he can fly those. It would be like you know, but then he stands there and be like controlling the feathers and then they fly back to him again. And he can think he can think of fly. That could be a thing too. I can see happening next week. But that seems like a very last resort ability, and we probably can't do that. But I can, but, uh, but I think it's gonna have some kind of like Sabu Sakura mild feather storm, right? That, that would be my guess. Uh, but not as man, not like as mighty as the classic Sabu Sakura, which is like a billion <laughs> petals. This is probably less of, of numbers, right? Less of numbers. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool character. I like that kind of arrogant, little in your face guy. Because I'm like, they call it arrogant, but isn't he more just like. He's the second best though, he's young, so he's arrogant. So I like that, you know, the personality there. It's the more taking, it's the more, yeah. I think it was good. Um, and generally they have, of course, like a him and an hour are, of course, very, very different. So pretty good uh, comedic effect there as well, right? So this episode is going to be a cool fight with them. Because I can't see an average winning himself. I think I expect some parts from high end to be hard to beat and so on, yeah. And um, also seeing the preview interesting, because you see the kids coming there too for some reason, and they cost something that. I haven't seen much of his older children, right? They're in the car watching the battle, I think. Maybe go in there? Why would it be in the car? So, yeah, there could be a little, maybe a little to the rocky, you know, and our family thing happening. We call it like more of the, maybe mom, yeah, a little more of that, right? It might come back. Um, but otherwise, I expect like a hawk backstory. <laughs> you see him in the ending, trading with the blindfolds, like time for a sad backstory with hawks. He was trading the lab or something. <laughs> And also, lastly, we see the Pussycat dolls, right? Uh, they're super cute and sexy. I forgot about them because they have obvious rabbit best girl. But yeah, that was cute. And Ragdoll is a hero. And I think, when I see her, I think about Oracle, like in DC, right? Classic. Um, this is like a super minor spoiler, but like Bat Woman, right? Bat Girl. <laughs> I mean, Bat Girl, I mean, yeah. Um, this is, okay, DC spoiler, right? But no. So a classic character is Oracle. And that is. Then a very famous DC character to get Indian right there. So she can't be a hero anymore. But instead she becomes like, you know, I can text stuff, I can call me, I can hack shit, and you know, and so on. Right? So Ragdoll for me definitely, when she was like, oh, I'm the office cat lady, I can do shit with my computers now. I was like, oh yeah, it's all okay. <laughs> so I felt that was very like classic style, yeah, in your female. So now she can stand, she can't she can't be in the field anymore, but she has mastered hacking and so on. So you can help her, you can support her team right there. So that kind of classic, you know, heroic, uh, Supportive character, but I love that she was like, I'm a cat lady. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, office cat lady. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that doesn't sound cool, but kind of sounds cool when you say, it. That's right, sexy cat lady. They're like, Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, they were cute. I know I caught Quota having the, the red shoes. <laughs> that was good too. He told me he needed to buy those red shoes, like, you have the Kishan? And he's like, No, no, don't tell him. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. 
So now I'm mean, so sundry. I'm like, oh, come on, you landed me. I mean, I guess I care about you. And it's like the shoes are exactly like next shoes, but yeah, exactly like his shoes. But he got some new shoes, and yeah, and he's, you know, he's, he's his aunt, right? but basically his mom, right? His cur, yeah. His new mama. Um, I guess his parents died, right? But she's like his, you know, aunt and raised him. Yeah. She's like, I had to buy him some new shoes. <laughs> and they look exactly like your shoes. <laughs> that was cute. He was like, refusing to admit it. No, I don't like you. Um, but yeah, that was a good episode. See you guys again at the end of today's final episode of Inspiration Reviewers, right? The best anime ever. The best Hontai anime ever. And that's going to end today, unfortunately. So. Yeah, see what it is. Alright, see you guys with that. Subscribe to the button. Have a great day.